Do you hate driving in summertime because your car's AC doesn't work anymore? Does it feel hotter inside your car than the actual outside temperature? Don't worry, AC Pro will help you cool down with ease. Hey guys, I'm Auto Edits Jason, and today we have a sponsored video from the folks over at AC Pro. Now I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step how to recharge your AC system. If you're like me, the weather changed, it got warm, turn the AC on, not blowing quite as cold as you remember or you want it to blow. This kit right here will help us do that. Now this is a rated E for everyone. I recommend everybody try this. I'm gonna walk you through every bit of it and we're gonna have some fun. First, let's go through some of the details of this new kit. So the kit is basically everything you need to get this done. Now they recommend using some safety goggles once we get going and of course a good set of leather gloves for safety. But let me run you through the kit. You have 22 ounces of refrigerant that has a few other things added in. It has a sealant in just in case any of the rubber o-rings are leaking. It'll help kind of uh, ease that and is this the solve for all air conditioning problems? No. But for the ones that just go low and you want to just recharge them, give a little bit of breath of cold cold air uh, for the summertime this is going to be a really good option so now the top of this one has this cool new little digital gauge and this makes it even easier this is really aimed at the beginner uh, you know mechanical person so don't be intimidated i'm going to run you through everything you need to do once we get inside the engine bay and then for here let's get started watch this you just pull the little plastic tab out of this and you can see the little thing turns on and that's going to show us our pressures and not only will it give us guided instructions here in the screen, you actually have a full, full detailed instruction here on the back of the can. And there's an app, the AC Pro app that gives you instructions as well online. So if you were tech savvy that way. Now what we'll do to get started is we'll just go ahead and remove this protective cap here off the top of the can, set that aside. And then we'll just screw this together and it doesn't have to go too tight, and we're ready to go. Now I'll bring you in to get acquainted with the AC system and the part that we're actually gonna interface with, which is just basically where this plug goes, and then we'll actually just hit this trigger to charge. But what we'll do now is turn the vehicle on, start it up, and I'll get a temperature reading at the vent in the center, and that way we have a before and we'll have an after. So first we'll get a baseline. Now the vehicle's been running, it's warmed up, I've been running it. It's at max cold, it's as good as it can be. So what you wanna do is turn the AC on max and hit the research button. So just the thing is running at maximum capacity and that way we'll just know. And I have a digital thermometer here. We'll try to get use this thing to get us a, a good reading. All right, the truck's been running for a few minutes now. Let's see what we got max cold coming out of this vent right here, 56.3. I'm pretty sure we could beat that. That feels cool coming out, but not cold. So we're gonna aim to beat that with our AC Pro. Now I recommend for mechanical beginners to go ahead and turn the engine off as you hook up to the AC system. That way you just don't have to worry about any of the moving parts in there. You worry less about that. There's some things that can get you. So just to be cautious to watch for that stuff. So now to get it connected to your AC system, you wanna find what's called the low pressure side or the low pressure line. And there's generally two fittings that you'll find as you go to search for this. And don't worry, the AC Pro adapter only fits on the low pressure side. So if you do happen to find the other one, which is generally on the other side of the engine, uh, don't worry, it won't fit on there. So if you find one and it doesn't fit, it's the wrong one, go to the one that does this. It should just clip right on and it'll be a piece of cake. Now that you have that attached, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Now I gotta remind you that it is very, very important that you never overcharge your system. So that's why this is, that's a bit tricky to happen to see that at a high pressure. Now that you can tell, you can look down and get a visual that the AC compressor is spinning, the clutch is engaged, and you could see that our pressure on our gauge on the low pressure side is 28. And that is just on the low side. That's why we're getting cool, but not cold. 
you can even see that it's touching the green. It's in the green here, but what we'll do now is just like it says, is we'll just squeeze the trigger. And you generally, it says right here on here, squeeze the trigger for 15 seconds and then let off the trigger and get a reading. And that's just so you don't overcharge. I'll let off. And look at that. We went up from 20, the mid 20 to 33. All right, so let's just keep going. We'll go on up to like 44, 45, and then we'll go ahead and check the interior temperature and see how that's feeling. I'm showing a 39. To give you a quick reference, right above it, what are we at? 110 degrees right here. So it's a hot day and this is doing good work. I think we did uh, a good upgrade. It'll get me through the summer. I hope that helps you guys, especially you new mechanic mechanical type people. I'll put a link in the description to this stuff. Go out and look for it at your favorite hardware or uh, auto, auto parts store. And uh, I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, enjoy your drive. Time for lunch. We'll see you guys.